It's so rude in this house. Jeez. If the old man I saw was really my grandfather, Edward, then the boy must be... I need to find out if that really was him I saw. Smoking a pipe? I thought that would be beneath her station. Uh, Lady Margaret. David. May I first apologize for my strange behavior last night? It's just that... Uh, think nothing of it. You are obviously tired from your travels. Least said, soon is mended. I don't want to give her another reason to think me mad. Uh, this may seem like an unusual question. I'd be surprised if it wasn't, dear boy. Have I ever been here before? Is it possible I visited as a child and can no longer remember? Oh no, you are a stranger to these walls. And I have a feeling you prefer it stayed that way. Uh, what kind of man was my grandfather? Oh, he was magnificent. He was handsome, so handsome, and caring. Caring enough to knock a defenseless child down the stairs. All was so very different when he was around. The maid, she seemed to be acting strangely, like she was frightened of me. Yes, well, she's a simple sort, that one. She has probably heard of the curse of the Gordons the locals like to whisper about. Curse? What curse? Just a peasant superstition. I would guess she was worried you'd show the same displays of unpredictable violence as your father did. I never knew my father to be the violent type. Oh, there are many things you do not know about your father. This is his doing. What? But, but how? I'd rather not discuss it, David. And that maid should really keep her mouth shut and locate the earring she lost. She's like a magpie with shiny, expensive things. I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. Oh, and David. The master of the house needs to respect the privacy of those under his roof. Even your father understood that. Sometimes a cabinet is locked for a reason. I was looking for some documents and Andrew had already gone to bed. I would still appreciate you respecting the rules of this house. You're not its owner quite yet. Everybody is still being rude. What the hell's wrong with these people? Oh, locked.
an impressive collection. Grandmother's obviously a music lover. I'll give that a spin later. Definitely the man I saw last night. But how? Grandfather Edward died before I was even born. Then he'd be in his 70s if he was still alive. Despair, by a man called Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Ghastly shades of bygone gladness, clawing fiends of future sadness, mingle in a cloud of madness ever on the soul to lie. Thus the living, lone and sobbing, in the throes of anguish throbbing, with the loathsome furies robbing night and noon of peace and rest. But beyond the groans and grating of abhorrent life is waiting sweet oblivion, culminating all the years of fruitless quest. The words of a troubled soul. The Castle of Otranto by Horace Walpole. I started reading this, though never got round to finishing it. The gentle maid whose hapless tale these melancholy pages speak, say, gracious lady, shall she fail to draw the tear adown from thy cheek? Hmm. labeled Mallory, perhaps another client of Mr. Harrison. David, apologies for not being here to greet you. As the telephone in the castle is not working due to the recent storm, I have had to journey to the village to communicate with my office. Upon my return, I shall show you to the chapel where you can pay your respects to your father. Yours, Andrew Harrison. Or maybe I'll just head to the chapel myself, just as soon as the weather clears.
This will make it easier to carry. The boy. It must be. But I need to be sure. Perhaps the names are on the back. What's this? Looks like it's drawn in... blood? Regardless of what I told Miss Cranon, these visions are like nothing I've ever experienced before, and they're getting worse. Lady Margaret, she looks happy. I can't imagine her smiling like that these days. The boy. How did he provoke Edward into throwing him down the stairs? My family. Yet they're all still strangers to me. <sighs> Grandfather Edward. Just as he looked last night. Okay, find one thing, now I gotta figure out where I go next. Uh, quest log. Find the grave from the painting. Oh, I can just add some more stuff. Okay, great. Yay. It's working. Has it been repaired? Or did Andrew lie to me? Uh, Lady Margaret? Yes, David. I saw an old photograph of a boy in the other room. Something tells me she wouldn't be happy if she knew I had it in my pocket. Ah, that was taken in 1894. Young Johnny, your father. You can remember the exact year. It's a funny thing when you reach my age. You can remember dates from decades ago. But not what you had for breakfast. Maybe others can't. Um, who, may I ask, were the others in the picture? That would be your Aunt Clara, 
and your late great-grandmother, the last true Countess of Scarhandu House. And my dear Edward, of course. I uh, noticed my father had a scar in his face. How did that happen? <sighs> Falling from a tree, perhaps? I can't recall. But your father was a clumsy child. Can't recall. But you remember the date the photograph was taken. Hmm. I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. And trying to figure out where to go and when is very difficult in this game because, like I said, there's no real indication. Steady enough vessel, if you trust your swimming skills. I can see why Rory likes this place. This view should ease even the most troubled soul. Back in the car and I'm leaving. Damn it! Wow, these little photographs are everywhere. No, oh, that was just one big circle. Master cool. Davy, talk to you the blind guy. It was me. Your footsteps. I can the walk of everyone here. Well, that's, that's rather incredible. Aye, that it is, laddie. That it is. I hear better than most. See more than most and all. Father had a similar toolbox. Back when he still fixed things around the house. But when you talked about what they did to my father, what did you mean? You should now come back. You cannot go through what he did as a bairn and no be sick. So his hospitalization was justified then? Not for me to say. Before you think of putting down roots here, 
You should think on what the poison groom here did to your father. You can? No, not really. If you don't mind, this door will no mend itself. I'll leave you to it then. for his return. I've seen this before. In the painting. This is the grave I, I saw in that waking dream or whatever it was. The grave my father buried something in as a boy. Who's buried here? If I could just... Ah! These vines are too thick. I need something to cut through these. I need something to cut through these. You're telling me I can't use that big ass knife I have? I need something to cut through these. Are you kidding me? Oh, I don't have it anymore, apparently. Okay. Better go find me some clippers or something somewhere. Maybe the uh, blind maintenance guy, handyman. Nobody left to mourn the dead or care for their graves, it seems. You wouldn't have to have a chapel key, would you? Ain't set a foot in there for years, and I don't intend to either. That'll be a no, then. Uh, the graveyard. Is it a family plot? Aye. No matter how high and mighty, all the Gordons end up there. <sighs> a cheery thought. It's a shame we do not have the means to properly care for the graves. Do I bother? His bones and food for worms. Um, may I borrow your bolt cutter? Maybe, if I can what you need it for. The graves. I would like to tidy them up. That way I can pay my respects properly. Is that a fact? Why is that then? They are my family. They deserve to be remembered. Ah, fair enough, laddie. Just grab it yourself, will ye? Oh, well, at least that didn't take long. Like everything else in this game. Cecilia Shaw Nee Gordon. Aunt Cecilia. Now, let's see if there's something really buried in here. Another piece of the castle model. Another part of the model. And it's stained with what seems to be old blood. Why did Father bury this when he was a child? See if I can't cut this padlock. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this place is even better days. Father, I hope you found your peace. Were you sick, like they say you were? Or the victim of this, this curse? This curse of the Gordons? <sighs> Whatever it is, I think you may have passed it on to me. The place is crumbling. Not the safest spot to pray. Being the chronicle of the family Gordon, as laid down by Sir Drummond Gordon, the year of our Lord, 1413. Local legend speaks of this particular glen as being inhabited from time immemorial. Enigmatic, elaborately carved pectish stones stand as timeless evidence of this. As for the locals, they appear prideful of the counsel they delight in giving to visitors. Traveler, beware. The Celtic peoples arrived in this place like a great beast, bringing with them the bloodlines that would eventually spawn the Gordon clan. Using their superior numbers, knowledge, and machines of war, they swiftly conquered the primeval Picts. With them, they brought to their religion and druid clerics. The magics these wise men used did shape forever the lands, even until this present day. It is said that the sempiternal burden our family carries rose at that time. It is well recorded how the Empire of Rome did fail to tame the wayward Scots, that they did even raise a barrier to protect their mighty empire. What is seldom told is the truth behind their defeat. Our ancestors drew upon ancient powers to aid their victory, powers not easily fathomed by the fragile human mind. This aid did come at the greatest of costs. A debt as yet unsettled. A price we will continue to pay until the last Gordon passes to dust. For the centuries, we Gordons made the land our own. Others did bow to us as we kept the secrets of Skahandu, the secrets of the Black Mirror. Even as tragedy and madness did fester in our foundations, we held fast, and steered the land through vile English attack, and worse. In time, the Gordons and the land became one. Okay. That was weird. Okay. Some pages have been ripped out. The only thing left seems to be some kind of family oath. In blood we are bound. To the land we protect. To the truths we alone may conceal. I shall forfeit my life. Lest my clan should suffer, I shall forfeit my spirit. To hold the darkness at bay. In blood we are bound. Till the day of the reckoning. Where's the coming from? Oh, finally we're starting to get a little more spooky. Let's keep it going. Can't leave. Um... Is this what madness feels like? It can't be real. What the hell? And now I'm underwater. All 
This looks like the bottom of a lake. What are you trying to show me? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> 